Good morning. I have just crawled out of bed. Um, I've definitely been laid in bed for an hour and a half, and I, it, I always do it, but I'm just so warm and cosy, and I need to just get up. When I'm awake on the morning, I'm like awake, and the only reason I don't get out of bed is because I don't like being cold. Anyway, welcome back to another video, another vlog. I am very tight for time. I need to basically go and make myself a cup of tea. I've got a cinnamon swirl for breakfast. Because if you saw the last vlog, Callum went to Lidl and he forgot my cinnamon swirl. Um, so I went and got two. Uh, but yeah, I've just made the bed, so first job of the day, done. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Washing is on. Washing up done. I'm having my breakfast. In Christmas times. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is falling. It will always be Christmas in my heart. Right, super quickly. I'm doing my advent calendar. Ooh, so this is. Oh, so this is my white company of um, treat of the day, and this is called um, a bath shot. So I'm assuming it's like basically bubble bath. My little calendar here. Oh, I take mine and leave Callum's behind. Got a little white chocolate Lindor, um, and I'm probably gonna leave this one for now because. This is more than enough for me at the moment. I've just had a cinnamon swirl, so I'll take that on my way out. It's a little bit later now. Um, we have been for our roast. There's the toilet, that's a big roast. Um, we've been for our roast. It was absolutely lovely. I was going to vlog it, but just didn't because I got a little bit stressed, really. Got back, only had an hour, and there was. Then it didn't seem. And then it was like, I've. It went from me having an hour to having half an hour and, um, and then we ended up leaving a little bit late, arriving a little bit late. When we got there, they were given our table to someone else because we were about five, ten minutes late, even though the other couple we were going with had already got there and let them know that we were here. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit flustered. I'm not even sure if this is going to make it into a vlog, but it was just one of those days. Um, I didn't like what I was wearing. I couldn't find what I'd planned to wear. Um... And then to be fair, like I did like what I was wearing, but I just felt like in myself, like my hair wasn't very nice. I washed it this morning. I managed to get it back into like a little bun and it wasn't too bad, but I didn't have time to do much makeup. And then we had to leave the house and it was still in a mess. So that is what I'm sorting now. Toilet's still in the background, gross. And hopefully in the week, I will show you my nails. Look how grown out they are, gross. Um, and then I might film next weekend to kind of round it off and vlog over a couple of days, basically. following saturday to when i said i was gonna vlog um when did i say i was gonna vlog yeah i said i was gonna vlog my nails so i'm gonna show you my nails in a second um i currently have you tri uh, tripoded i currently have you balanced on top of a body spray and my carton of orange juice that i was just drinking um and i've just filled out my first page in my productivity planner for today annoyingly last weekend when we went to blue water i'm not sure if i mentioned so i got some gloves from accessorize because i physically can't grip my steering wheel on a morning um anyway i saw some green ones like them but they didn't have my size so i opted for a beige pair and then when i got home i looked online they had the same kind of discounty things online so i was like right actually i'll order it into store to click and collect I will go into store today to get the order and I will return the gloves that I bought last weekend. And then I have my nice green ones. They're kind of like, I've got a green scarf that I wear, so then I've got my green gloves. I like green, 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 green. I'm feeling a little worse for wear this weekend. The last two days, Thursday night, I felt really run down. 
um friday yesterday i was just like so i'm really happy that i've got two days off work and i've not got a busy weekend um if anything i've literally got nothing to do also me and callum started after christmas the other night and didn't finish it and i feel like i overwatched it at one point and i'm really now like I really want to watch Arthur Christmas. Like, I really want to watch it. So I'm going to put that on this afternoon when I'm editing, I think. Um, me and Callum also watched another Harry Potter. Um, I think I mentioned this in the last vlog. So we watched The Prisoner of Azkaban last night. And there were some things that happened in it that I'm like, I don't remember that happening. This is like a mixture between I've obviously watched it so much absentmindedly that I haven't took it in properly. And also me and Callum have tried to leave a big gap. Because I said last year we watched it twice the whole series twice through because um we went to harry potter world and then we watched it again at christmas so we've now gone a full stretch and we're both sitting and watching these films properly and it's made me realize that like unless i'm at the cinema watching a film quite a lot of the time because we're on our phone we don't actually sit and take things in as much so we have another delightful pair not a soft okay but the last pair of the last pair, um, the last set of bedding me and Callum had on, I think I said in the last vlog that we absolutely love it. It's it's a super soft brushed cotton. It almost feels like silk. Um, and then this is a brushed cotton set. I think I got this from Asda. And it's very similar in terms of like neutral. Um, but one side it's got literally just stags and the other side it's checkered and I'm kind of feeling the checks but I'll see when it's on because the stags obviously is a little bit more of a blank canvas so I'm gonna pop that on when I get back I can't be bothered to do it now if I'm honest um I need to get myself ready and I'm not happy this is better with um my skin at the moment I just feel like I've had where I'm run down the biggest breakout this is a spot so I put some drying and oil lotion on that last night. So that was a spot that was horrendous. Uh, just a couple on the chin. This one hurt so much. Um, and luckily that's coming to the end of its life now. It just feels a bit like a, I don't really know, like a little lump. Um, and then I've got them all in my hairline. Couple that side as well. Don't even know if you can see them. Couple there in the hairline. So I'm just feeling a little bit gross. I'm gonna really moisturise um, when I'm getting ready. Okay, let me let me put some clothes on. Let me put some clothes on. I'm ready. I'm feeling a little bit more put together. I've just put on mind the mark. I've just had to give it a little dab with a a flannel, but I've just got on my nice chunky cozy favourite ever future self um, tracksuit, and I'm just about to grab my phone off charge. I need to charge it in the car as well, just to. Keep going. Um, oh. Connor's meant to be going to football, but he's just told me his game's been called off. I wonder whether that's because it's too cold. I'll have to give him a quick massage. Um, I also realised I hadn't showed you my nails, but I thought I'll show you them now that I'm ready. Um, and then I'm going to zip off to Blue Water. I don't feel like I'm going to be there that long. Um, it's also probably going to be really busy, so I probably won't vlog. But I'll take the camera just in case. I always do, but... Um, I like vlogging in public when I'm with someone else and then when I say when I'm with someone else it needs to be like Callum or like my mum and dad and then I'll happily do it um, but then when I'm with certain people they might not like the vlogging or I'll forget because I'm rarely spend time with them type thing anyway the Christmas nails so I oh it's not gonna focus is it let me turn this around there we go so these are my Christmas nails Went for a square still, do love the square shape. Um, so went for like a little buyer with a gold glitter and um, some little stars. And then thumb is the same as well and the same on both hands. Um, and I actually took inspiration from Zoe Sug herself because she posted, I think she must have got them done in like November now though. Um, but I said, when I was getting my nails done for my birthday and I got the green, like this colour green, um, I did say to my nail lady when I was booking in, oh, I want to get like something quite light and snowflakey, fair, like something really delicate basically and quite neutral for Christmas. There's nothing nicer than your nails being nice. I feel much more nice and put together and it's just a little bit of a treat really. What's to do? Let's go. How frosty and fresh does that look? 
very chilly on the old tours. Am I glad to be out of there? Slightly stressful just from the fact that everyone's Christmas shopping. I never normally, like that's why I do my Christmas shopping so early because I hate the, you know, anyway, I've got a bit of a headache. So I just, I'm there a little bit longer than I thought I was gonna be. But it also took me a little bit longer to get here because there was an accident on one of the slip roads. Anyway, so I've just picked myself up. I'm freezing. It is cold. Picked myself up a bacon and brie panini from Costa because I thought, oh, it's in one. They normally cut it, I think. Because um, I thought then I don't have to cook when I get home. Could think of nothing worse. Anyway, I haven't had this before. Bacon brie and cranberry. This is a Christmas delight. I am feeling very festive. Despite the rush this morning, I'm back in my festive mode. I'm feeling very green. I had to take the scarf off before I went in because I thought, Jesus Christ, I look like a snot. Literally, walking, talking, snot. I've got to alleviate some of the green at some point. And to be fair, I would have probably had my big fat coat on, but it's in the wash. Now hanging out to dry. Two more loads of washing to go when I get in. What a festive tune! So I thought, the minute I get in, let's have um, a little haul of what I got. And the parcel that I've picked up from outside. And then these, so these are some green gloves for dry, Cruella de Vil, eat your heart out. So you might think a bit gross because they're green, but I had black ones before and I just lost them and I thought if they were a different colour to black I'd probably remember them a bit more and because I have a green scarf, green gloves with my black coat for work, it doesn't look too bad um, but they're mainly for driving and because of my old joint problems um, despite the fact I'm having a very good time with that at the moment um, I just really f find that I feel the cold I'm one of those people that when I've been outside it takes me about 30 minutes, 40 minutes to defrost so that I can actually use my hands again. Picked up another pair of gloves. These are the ones that have like the slightly different coloured tips so that you can use them on your phone. Um, and I just thought the only other pair of gloves that I have do not fit me. Um, and these ones are the type that literally fit your hand perfectly so you can still feel like you've got a lot of movement. So I might wear these like through the day at work perhaps. Um, and then obviously them ones are my driving ones. And then at least I've got two pairs of gloves that are practical and just work. Picked up this one and because I was taking back a pair of gloves, I realised um, when I was in the car eating my sandwich um, that they actually, even though I bought the gloves originally for £14, they actually give me £20 as if it was like I'd bought them at full price. So I only had to pay £2.50 for them gloves and this ring which was meant to be £15 um, because of the difference in costs of the two. Anyway, so I picked up this ring, um, size medium, I was thinking middle finger, let's build up one hand at a time and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous, it's like um, got little stars on it, so yeah it's just got these cute, super cute little indented stars and I thought they really went well with the fingers um so basically i found hats in h&m and there was this one and there was a nude version um but i thought one hat at a time the amount of occasions where me and callum are actually outside going on a walk i mean so far this year none obviously when we were in lockdown wore them quite a bit but i thought let me just get one a colour that I don't have. Yeah, and it's just a lovely grey, and I'm not gonna lie, it's really soft. This was a good in between because some of the hats just seem to feel really thin and almost just show the shape of your head. But when you've got a hat on, you want it to kind of mask the shape of your head because otherwise it looks a bit silly, if that makes sense. Fine. Do you see the vibes? Because I'm thinking Christmas Day, Christmas Eve walk. So I actually got this in a large. It was £20, so I didn't think that was that bad. And it's a lovely brushed cotton. I mean, that is just what you want, isn't it? So I just thought this, with a pair, it's got like nice orangey tones in, which is just me. You can have the gold jewellery on with it. Black leggings. Grey beanie. It's going to be a vibe. And then finally, because this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look 
are these. These are mini. Can you see how big they are? They are tiny. They're not even the size of my pinky finger. So if you look at your pinky finger, it's like the first two thirds of it. Literally. Tiny. They're like little grips. Um, well, little claw clips. Um, and they're like the silicone-y feel ones. Um, like the NARS packaging. But what I wanted... There were some nude ones as well, but I went for these. Because what I was thinking... It could also go with the outfit. But um, quite often I do my hair and I'll have it down but for work I want a bit of it scraped back and I just thought sometimes I'll put in a different claw clip but there my hair is quite thin um, and I just want to clip like a little bit of it back into something that will actually hold it because my hair's thin and there's not a lot of hair that I'm clipping back if I'm only clipping a few pieces up. Well this is my Norvu edit order. Here he comes. Hello. You right, darling? Yes, are you? Are you in the water? No, I'm in our humble abode. We're back in the zone. Right. <gasps> How exciting. Well, the first item that I picked up was the Norvo kind of ribbed, gorgeous dress. Um, it's got like a little crinkle um, sleeves. Um, yeah, it's lovely. This one is not double lined which is fine um but it's just making me think like in terms of paris like this is going to be one of those materials that it's, it's really warm i can't remember what it's called the material and then oh, this is incredible this is the cord now this one feels a bit thicker maybe it's just because it's a different color so the cord again is this Oh my god, it looks amazing in the camera. This gorgeous chocolate, long sleeved, slightly flared on the the old wrist um, top. And the bottoms. Wow, a size small again. Love, love, love. Absolutely love them. So the only thing that I'm thinking with this is, um, and these will be good because I can wear again, I can put tights or some sort of legging underneath the chocolate brown. Oh my god, I'm so happy they're here. They're so soft. Um, so I'll do a little try on in a bit. Right, we're just going to have to manage with the hair, but I am just doing a little try on. So, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. And even though it's cropped, which I saw a couple different versions of this on people. And when sometimes it looked cropped, like it's obviously cropped, but sometimes it looked cropped and there was um, like midriff out. And then sometimes um, when I looked at it on some other models, it wasn't. Um, so yeah, this feels like it's quite a nice loungy kind of fit. So let me show you. I'm going to close this behind me so you don't get to see the toilet. Um, so yeah, absolutely love it. It's got like quite a nice long length on the hands. Um, I quite like that. A quick picture on my phone so that I do not forget and plus I'll send it to my mum. Um, and then I'm going to try on the shirt next because I can work with the trousers. For a large, this is quite um, a nice fit to be honest. Um, it's obviously meant to be quite a, it's not like a naturally oversized um, fit. So I'm really glad that I went for the large. Obviously, I would never wear it with these trousers. Um, although they're both giving very snug vibes. Um, but yeah, it's a nice length. Um, it's just a nice relaxed oversized fit without swamping me, to be honest. So yeah, as you can see, it's kind of like a nice length mid, th well, probably at the top of, more to the top of my thigh. My, um, well, my hip bones there. And my leg starts about there. So it's actually quite to the top of the thigh. Um, and then the wrists obviously go all the way down. And there's a little bit of extra room in them. They go down to like halfway on my the back of my hand. Um, and as you can see the shoulders. They're only slightly dropped. Um, you can see where my shoulders see where the seam is. So there's not too much um, bagginess going on actually. And I really like this. Again um, with it being winter. 
I heard them actually recommend it on the radio about wearing like thinner, thin but multiple layers rather than wearing like big thick layers or like one big thick layer. Um, so I think that again this might end up being like either my Christmas Eve because we're going to be going on some walks so I could wear this with like leggings or joggers um, or I might actually save it for Christmas Day and I could glam it up a little bit because it's still nice and cosy. I've got the black dress on. Slightly different vibes to the brown set where that felt like first that like it was a size small and I said that there was like quite a bit of extra room Um, obviously it was like flared sleeves and things like that um but with this one and it's such like I love how it looks um so it's got a bit of like more of a a bit more of a loose neckline we'll say I don't I don't really know different necklines and what they're called um and then it's got like quite a bit of excess material here but I don't really mind that like I'm not too fussed because it's still let me just turn around um it's obviously hard to see because it's black so it's basically going to bleach out but as you can see it's still even though it's got a bit of extra room there like it could be a little bit tighter at the top or on the top half should I say so it could be like this on the top half which is what I was kind of expecting but either way it still kind of clings to the um my hips even though she's a rectangle um and then it goes all the way down to the bottom. It's got like the lovely kind of, you can see there, can't you? The like scallopy edge. Um, and the sleeves are lovely and long. They're quite tight, but like comfortably, like they're just snug. Um, I was expecting there to be maybe a little bit more room because of the black outfit. But yeah, the sleeves on the arms are actually more tight than anything, but I do like the look of it. Um, it makes it, look a bit more expensive I think and I love how it kind of comes down and the sleeves are super long again and it covers the hands but what I'm not sure I'm going to be able to cope with um I'm not sure if it's something that's fixable whether it's a fault I'm I'm not sure where to go with this really because to be fair I could always email them see what they say and then if I send it back they might send me another one um because I literally it's as if there's no give in the bottom of the dress I feel like I'm gonna rip it at some point or maybe it's just because it needs to be worked I mean I know you know it is what it is the material is not a super super stretchy material and it's a long dress so there's gonna be a little bit of restriction there it feels a little bit better because it kind of gives me a bit more of a line in the middle half gives me kind of a section where it's like top half bottom half and then the dress kind of has a slight cling but it feels like less of a cling i think it's because it's where my knees bend there's less of um less of a pull so um i think i've decided that this dress it does work because i'm more than likely gonna wear it like this plus it's not really a little black dress but black dress bd um i've not got one so this would actually be really good because in future you know i can Sitch it up like I have and dress it up and I've got a quick black outfit uh, Long sleeves are nice and snug. I love a long sleeve on anything Um so yeah, I think this I think this works and it's gonna work and I just need to Find some pieces to kind of style it with this vlog will be up well before I go to Paris. So please What shoes do I wear help me? <laughs> So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel down below. And I think now I will pretty much see you after Christmas. Hope you have a lovely Christmas. Um, I think I will have a video going up. I can't remember which day New Year's the 1st of January is. But whichever one is closest to Sunday, which is my usual upload day, I think... January 1st is a Sunday or is it January 2nd is a Sunday? I think January 1st is a Sunday so I should have a video up then and then following that will be the Paris vlogs so we've got lots to look forward to and I shall see you then. Bye!